hey y'all welcome welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm showing you guys a full wash day routine after a protective style so in this video i had just took out my braids that i had in for two months so i definitely needed to make sure i did a good wash a good detangle and a good conditioner so the first thing that i do is make sure that my hair is saturated with the water and this part it always takes me just a little bit longer to do my hair takes a while for it to get fully saturated so I'm going to be using the rice water shampoo and this was actually in the PR package for the My L and yeah this is a really really clarifying shampoo and I feel like it's great for build up. So I normally shampoo a total of like two to three times. So now I'm gonna go in with my Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners of all time. It always makes my hair super soft, super moisturized. And also I'm gonna go in with some oil. I always mix my deep conditioner with oil, any oil of your choice. So as you guys see here, I am using my detangler brush now and I did buy this off of Amazon. I can't remember the name, but I will link it down below. And I found that detangling in the shower helps out a whole bunch. I used to didn't do this method, but since I started doing it, it's been so much easier to detangle my hair. So I finished washing my hair, I washed the conditioner out, and now we are here, and we are on to the styling part. I did have braids in my hair for the last two months, and before I got braids, I actually cut my hair, and I cut quite a bit off, 
So right before I got my hair braided, this time I have braids previously. So I've been wearing braids back to back since December, y'all. And the last time that I got braids and I took my braids out, I had so much breakage. I had so much shedding. Like it was so much. I felt like my hair was so damaged, which I feel like I had split ends before I put the braids in. So after I put the braids in, I just feel like it was even worse. And it's crazy because I went to somebody different last time. And last time, I feel like she put so much gel and like gook on the front of the braid to slick it down that when it was time to take the braids out, that part of my hair was just knotted up. And you know, I have a little bit knotted up normally when I have braids, but that time it was literally every single braid it had that little knot on the front. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know, but. I'm not gonna go back to her anyway if y'all saw my hair horror story but she also used so much good on my hair i felt like that also played a part in why it was so knotted at the front but yes y'all enough rambling we about to start this hair i'm trying to be done in whew, like 20 minutes <laughs> so this is how my hair is looking and i don't mind if i do have a little bit of deep conditioner in my hair still but this is how it's looking. No product in my hair. I tried to detangle it as much as I could while I was in the shower, but my ends are honestly looking like way better than what they was looking like before. I do have a lot of shrinkage, but. So for the leave-in, I'm gonna be using the My L Pomegranate Leave-In Conditioner. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It helps detangle your hair so well, it keeps your hair soft. This is my go-to leave-in conditioner. So as you guys see here, I'm just using a leave-in conditioner to detangle my hair. And I'm definitely heavy-handed with this product. I know it looks like I have way too much product on my hair, but for me personally, I need to be heavy handed with my product, especially my leave-in conditioner, because like I said, I had braids in my hair, so I wanted to make sure I got a really good detangling. Right, y'all, so my hair is detangled. And as y'all know, I am heavy handed, but the white cast is gonna go away once it dries. I know because I've used this product a million times, but I needed to use a lot because like I said, I had braids in. So for this wash and go, I'm gonna be using my Wetline Extreme Gel. My Mixed Chicks Styling Cream, which this is not one of my favorites, but we're gonna use it today because this is all we got, baby. So we're gonna make it work. And I feel like if you mix anything with the Wetline Gel, then it's just an automatic pop and wash and go. So for my wash and goes, I usually start at the bottom of my hair and work my way up. Depending on how in a rush I am, I will use smaller or larger sections. But for this wash and go, I use, I would say like medium sized sections. And as you see here, I'm applying the mixed chicks first and then the wet line on top. I always apply the gel on top and especially to my roots. This 
already shrunk, but it's about to shrink even more. So now I am about to do my edges, how my hair is looking. Like I said, the white cast is going to go away. I'm just gonna give it a few hours and then of course I'll come back and show y'all later what my hair is looking like. always my favorite part is doing my edges after I wash my hair. I normally just do like this one edge right here. <laughs> I don't really do none on this side but for the sake of the video I will. And just in case I want to flip my hair over. We gotta have these edges laid baby. So it is later on in the day and this is what we have as the finished look. So I did blow dry it out. I did pick it out because I have somewhere to be and I don't have time to wait for it to dry. So it did poop up a little bit. If y'all know me, y'all know I don't really like big hair like that. But like I said, I trimmed my hair and I had a bunch of breakage last time. So I had less value than normal and it was just looking really flat. So this is how it's looking y'all. And like I said, the white cast is out of my hair. And this is how it's looking. And I did try to do a little stretching banding method, but I don't really know if it worked. And clearly y'all, I changed to a middle part because the side part was just not, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to get. This is what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.